Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Nistro here, and we are back pondering the question, is Tyramence not just the strongest, but is it strong enough to carry Testina? Because Testina needs a lot of help. There's a lot of good ideas going on with Testina, but the support just does not come together well. If, if you've read some of the new cards like Embrace, you read this card at first and it's like the first few lines, like you're like, oh my god, this is great, and then you realize you can only use it if you control a Testina with 3,000 or more defense. And the only two Testinas with 3,000 or more defense are your Xyz and your Crystal God. There's a lot of things in Testina like that where it's like, wow, this almost seems broken, and then you read it fully and it's really not that great. Tainted is kind of funny because it could tribute face down monsters your opponent controls to normal summon itself and then it becomes level 10 when it's summoned that way. Also Tainted being a level, uh, a dark aqua helps a lot with trying to make Garura. So that's why we don't have to commit as hard to triple danger Nessie because we have three field spells here that say you can mill any Testina once per turn. Not only that, but with Fallen of, of the Testina, you can place Divine Domain Testina from your deck. Domain can mill you any Testina, and all of them are Aqua. That makes Rhino Heart a really good normal summon because that means it's either going into Garua, or if you open up like a, a Danger or something, it can go into Mud Dragon. Mud Dragon can get you into Bahamut Shark. I really wish like Hound was the water one and Fallen wasn't because then it would be a lot easier for you to make Bahamut Shark. Like the fact that they made their level four an Earth Monster, like the fuck is going on here you know but it's really great because these are the two testinas you don't mind milling or there's three testinas you don't mind milling you don't mind milling sentinel you don't mind milling hound and you don't mind milling tainted you don't mind milling sentinel and hound because once you get demigod on field which is really easy in this deck these two can revive themselves from grave while you control demigod or any light testina including the field spell or crystal god which crystal god i still don't see how often you're going to summon this card like i can't visualize like a grind game where you bring this card out constantly unless you're constantly resolving first effect where it's like if your opponent controls three or more face-up cards when you uh mill a testina you can special summon crystal god testina from hand or deck and then there's play of the testina i <sighs> It's a monster reborn, but because it, it can be used during your opponent's turn, well, you know, if I get to Crystal God to Grave and I control Demigod, then this basically becomes a Book of Eclipse. But like, then the Crystal God has to go back to hand during the end of the turn, so should I just make Definity that defies darkness? My problem with Tistina before was that you kind of had to end on two level 10s face up on field, and I was kind of coping on cards like double hooking and stuff to like revive both Demigod and Crystal God Tistina at the same time. And Sentinel is like the best Testina monster, maybe besides Demigod, like Sentinel's the best one. Before we were playing Testina in Unchained, now that we're trying it with Tier Laments, it's like the, the sequencing is really difficult sometimes. Like Tier Laments is already a difficult deck by itself because you're you're not really comboing, you're kind of just like playing the mill game and getting the most out of your mills and what's in your graveyard. You need to be able to put a monster face down with Breath of the Testina and then you can only destroy Testina monsters or a face down card you control with Sentinel to search another Testina card from deck to hand. So it, it's it's really awkward. The extra deck here, I, I tried to make it really diverse, you know, so we have like our IP Masquerade and SP Little Knight in case we have like these extenders. We have like links that we can turn them into like Apo. I still think we're uh, Fenrir in this deck is, is good enough because uh, Fenrir can either search Fenrir or it can search uh, tier cash and I don't want to go too crazy on the tier cash because milling in this deck is good But it's not like amazing as you can see we're not playing any of the, of the like tier limit spells or traps and Stuff like that. I'm sure that there is More ways that we can take advantage of some of this tier limit package But like with all the names being one of besides Rhino Heart It makes it hard for me to want to commit more tier cards despite the Testina and the tier limit working well together, they don't really go into each other. Like, Testina does not go into tier limit, and tier limit does not go into Testina. Rather, you're kind of hoping you get like a mash of both in your opening hand, and that like they can help each other's flaws, right? So Testina can give uh, tier limits the materials they need to fusion summon, while um, tier limits can give Testina the, the ceiling that they need to be to to, to not get completely overblown and or to get completely outclassed by uh meta decks this format so just looking at an opening hand first off divine domain testina is a great opening when we open rhino heart here because we get to activate it 
Um, and it gets to mill any Testina from deck, right? So again, Tainted, Dark Aqua, which means we can normal summon Rhino Heart and turn any anything into a Tier Limit Fusion. So I think that's my, that might be what I want to do. Uh, we could also make Kaleida Heart, but Kaleida Heart at this point in the game I don't think would do much. You know, there's nothing on our opponent's field yet, so... I think Taint... I, I think I'm gonna go for Tainted here. I, I kinda wanna get the draw. Um, so we're gonna normal summon Sentinel. Oh shit, we don't have... Uh, what's his face? We don't have the continuous spell so we actually just wasted our normal summon we were supposed to normal like i'm so used to having the continuous spell that lets you get an extra normal summon so we're supposed to save our normal summon for for rhino heart here because that's the only way that we get anything out of this i mean he can summon himself because we control sentinel i mean let's just make the most of it right so we goofed we we didn't get to play rhino heart this turn uh we have two level threes on the field we're gonna activate sentinel we're gonna pop itself Search Demigod. And Demigod is like when you control any Testina card. So that means if you control Field Spell, Continuous Spell, or a monster. It doesn't have to be just... Um, just a Testina monster. So um, it's it's a, it's a combined effect to summon itself, then add a Testina Spell Trap from deck to hand. And this time we are going to add the Breath. Uh, we're going to use the Breath. Uh, breath can put... A monster we control face down to search another Testina monster, which at this at this point we did kind of goof, but um, because the only Testina we we would have wanted to search, I think at this point could have been Tainted because then at least Tainted could become level ten. But we only play one Tainted, so I I, I don't know what else we would search here besides Hound. Uh, so we're gonna book a moon our own returned, and I think searching hound is the correct thing here because there's no point to searching crystal god we could normal summon the crystal god like by all means but that's just it just doesn't seem good <laughs> so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna uh, search the hound and then we get an extra normal summon of hound thanks to breath uh and then we get to revive sentinel thanks because we control demigod so now we can kind of like link climb ip mascarena and then we can activate Hound's effect, right? Because we still control Demigod. It can revive itself from Grave. And now we have IP into a um, SP Little Knight or Appaloosa next turn. That's about the best we can do. Let's see. Okay, this is a way better opening here. So uh, now we get to... Now I get to show you guys the uh, beauty of Fallen of the Testina. Allowing us to get a uh, domain straight from deck. Uh, we do have a Suchi Noko here. I guess, like, the question is would I want to hit Rhino Heart? Like, I I'd want to hit any of these three cards besides Suchi Noko because if we hit Rhino Heart, we can discard the Havenus and then go into Mud Dragon, and then from Mud Dragon, get we go into Bahamut Shark. So I think that's what I want to do. But I also just want to use domain really quickly here like preemptively just domain for should i domain for tainted or should i domain for someone else i think i should domain for tainted because there's no way we're getting any other testina cards this turn like possibly if we get a good draw off of suchinoko then maybe it, it, it would have been better to um mill like a sentinel like sentinel and tainted are like your two best mills but i'm gonna take my chances i'm gonna take my chances i'm gonna mill the tainted with domain and then i'm gonna attempt to go suchinoko and, okay so we hit the reinhardt which means we summon suchinoko we draw one okay and we drew hound that's not the worst draw so reinhardt gets to summon itself um, and then we uh, drop the Havness, and then we're gonna chain link it. Like I think, Reinhardt chain link one is correct because it's more likely they'd have Ash than they would have like a, you know, uh, Ghost spell. Because if they have DD Crow or Abyssal, they hit um, the tier limit anyway. So 
Might as well chain block to protect from Ash than not chain block at all. So we're gonna Havenus. Havenus is gonna get us to Mud Dragon because we control Sujinoko. Um, and order doesn't really matter to me. Get to Mud Dragon and then we can mill. I think I wanna mill Merly here uh, because Shiren, like I wanna save Sharon as like, I don't know, in case there's some magical way I can make uh, Sharon this turn, I, I, I kinda wanna save it, so. I'll mill the Merly. And then we can trigger the Merly here too. I would have preferred it if like there was a way that I could have discarded Havenus without um, triggering Reinhardt. Oh no, if there was a way I could summon Reinhardt without triggering Havenus, I, or if I had a way to discard Havenus later on the turn, then I could have made made the Mud Dragon went into Bahamut Shark, went into uh, detach the Mud Dragon and then mill the Havenus and then go into Dragos Tepeli and that would have been a way better opening, you know, um, than what I had now. But it's all right. Marley was activated. No, we're not going to chain my dragon. There's no point. Uh, you're going to make a row here because that's the only thing we can make without touching our field. And then we can use Guru for a link summon to get us a draw later on in the turn. Uh, so we're going to go Bahamut here. Bahamut effects. Uh, we're going to detach Mud Dragon. <laughs> and they have their own Havenus that they can use. This definitely seems like a better hand for going second. Not going to lie. Because uh, both the Sistinus in hand are... Oh, we haven't used our normal summon yet. Holy shit, I just I just remembered. Uh, because now that means we can normal summon a hound and then special summon returned. I was out here thinking that we like we, we used our normal summon or some shit. We can make an Apo. We can make a four negate Apo with a toad. <laughs> um, welcome to like 2020 Yu-Gi-Oh. I think that's like the best thing we can do here. And then get the Garuba draw. Oh, we drew Demigod. Wow, we're so good at the game. We're gonna add. We can kind of add anything here. This is like one of the best draws that we could have gotten like straight up because now we get to add another searcher. I think we want to go for Breath. Yeah, because we, we, we go for breath instead of play. The question is, is... Oh, yeah, we can... Um... Oh, and Toad can send any Aqua Monster to negate something. It doesn't have to just be itself. That's really cool. Because then that means we can just leave like a Hound or something on our field. Alright, so we're going to activate Breath here. We're going to activate Hound. Hound's going to be able to summon itself. We're going to use Breath. Put the Hound face down and we get to search Sentinel. This is actually this is actually kind of funny. Um, so we're in a normal summon the Sentinel because we got an extra normal summon of Breath. Activate Sentinel, pop the Hound that we just set, and now we get to add any Tistina card from deck to hand. We've already used our double normal summon. We've not used Sentinel's effect in Grave yet, but I don't know how we're gonna get it to Graveyard. Maybe we should just link off both the sent. No, but if we link both these guys off, then I think we go for play here. I think we go for play of the Testina to to revive. Like, I think we go for yeah, because I think play is the only play that we have here. Like, unironically. And it's really great Sentinel can search any Testina card by popping one. So that's why it was so good with Unchained, because you can just pop your face down cards. You're, you know, it's like a second 
un unchained starter. So it could pop any face down card, then search demigod, then demigod search like breath or you know domain or something. So it, it was kind of cool. And then we're gonna activate play here. It doesn't really matter who we summon. All these choices are kind of just mid, though. Yeah, we're just gonna make a IP. We're just gonna make IP Mascarina, so we can go for SP Little Knight, right? So we can revive Sentinel again. Well, not again, but we can revive Sentinel. Now we have SP Little Knight. Totally awesome. Demigod's kind of just gonna sit here. If they somehow. If they, for some reason, decide to remove our domain from field, uh, Fallen will actually activate, and if a face-up Testina spell or trap you control is destroyed by opponent's card effect while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, especially when a light Testina monster from your hand deck or graveyard. Dude, if we could make fucking uh, our artifact Durandal in this deck, like, Fallen of the Testina would be, like, an amazing card. If there is some way to get into Fallen... I mean, uh, Artifact Randall, which I don't think there is because Galaxy Soldier requires lights, and the only lights are Demigod and Crystal God, and neither of which we want to... Well, Demigod, we don't want to discard, and it's going to be in our hand more often, so I don't think there's, like, a good... Is there any good other ways to make Rank 5s in modern Yu-Gi-Oh? I was gonna say, like, maybe the tier elements, but, like, I don't think there's two level 5 generic fusions that they can make. Like, it it, it was really just coincidence that Garua happened to be a level 6. But we, we did get, like, the best top deck of all time. Like, think of, like, how lucky that draw was to, for us to get Demigod when we already had Domain on field. And now we have, um, how many interruptions is this? That's 4, 5, um, 6 with SP, like... And then SP Little Knight is two interruptions, so that's like seven negates. Or not seven negates, seven interruptions, five negates. Which is crazy. Um, so, yeah. Let's do one more test hand, one more test hand, one more test hand. Okay, so there's no tier limits. Uh, there is no tier arm and strongest in this hand. This is completely Tistina engine plus a Suchinoko. Um, so I don't know who I would mill here with uh, domain. I think um, I don't know if there is a correct domain mill here. Let's activate Fallen anyway. Let's get domain. Um, what I think I want to do is I definitely want to normal summon the Sentinel, search Demigod, because that's going to be our best play. Yeah, normal summon Sentinel, search Demigod. I think that's, like, the best play that we can make here. Maybe if we played, like, the, um, the Train Exceed that can make monsters unaffected for the turn, like the, the Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon, um... Fuck, I forgot his name. I know it's like number 83 or number 81. I forgot which number it is, too. What what the fuck? But you guys know what I'm talking about. Maybe if we play that card, this hand could actually have some, like, redeeming qualities to it. I don't want to special summon return yet. I'm just going to normal summon, normal summon Sentinel, get Demigod, Demigod get Breath, and then Breath will get us an extra normal summon of, like, Hound. And then, um... Actually, no, we're, we're not going to normal summon the Hound just yet. We're going to resolve Tsuchinoko first. I think. I, I think that's the correct thing to do. And we don't... We still don't have, like, a good target to mill off of uh, Domain. I guess, you know what? In case I feel like searching play... And, yeah. Because... Fallen can summon from Grave as well. So in case I feel like searching play of the Tistina later this turn, um, I'm going to mill Crystal God now. Because 
I don't think we're getting into... Uh, and even if we were to get into tier limits, I'd rather shuffle back a Sushinoko than shuffle back... Like, I'd rather make Mud Dragon, like, than make a Garua right now. Because we, we don't really have access to level 6 anyway. So we're going to use Sentinel. Sentinel's going to pop itself. Uh, Sentinel's going to search Demigod. Oh my god, you bitch. <sighs> Fuck. Imagine misclicking. Okay. So, <laughs> another test stand. Um, okay, so we got Domain, Fenrir, Hound, Play. There's no way that we get from Tyromit to Testina here, either. So what exactly do we do? And I don't want to set the play, because, like, then that means it's worthless this turn. But I don't think I have a choice. How do we make level 6 here? Or how do we make two level 6s, is, is what I mean. Because we have Danger and Nessie. Maybe we should just play Double Guru or something. Because if we had a way into, like... Like, if we had a guaranteed way into... Beatrice, then play the Testina could get us. Then we can mill Sentinel, play the the of the Testina, special summon out the Sentinel, get Demigod. But no, we we wouldn't have a face up Testina monster on the field. We would have to pop the Beatrice or something. I don't know. I don't think this works. I don't think this hand works. I think we have to play this hand as if we're playing two elements, even though we drew a brick. And you guys saw our list. You saw how, how much Tessina that we're dedicating in our list, you know? Uh, why did I just normal summon Rhino Heart? Okay. Flush that. Flush that recording. <laughs> Flush that hand. Um, activate Fallen. Domain. Uh, so we have double Mali in hand. Maybe. Yeah, I definitely... Um, I definitely Domain here for tainted so that way i can make a garua and then jackalope hopefully this guards a single malicious wait but if both maliciouses are in hand which oh, how can i summon one from deck holy shit there's no level six danger monster is there hold on hold on hold on there is no level six danger right no it goes from seven straight to four damn uh, because, like, there was no way that we could mill two different Tailorman monsters that turn, so... It was like, maybe if we could have made Garura plus Dangerous, then yeah, that could have worked. I guess, like, Beatrice is really hard to make if you're not playing Diviner. Like, the, the Diviner and the statues, and the fact that Destina has no level 6s means... Maybe we might want to ditch Beatrice in this build. Maybe you might want to ditch ditched the, the, the Beatrice lines in the Testina tier limit build. Not entirely sure. We'll try one more hand. We'll try one more hand. Uh, entirely Testina hand, and we drew basically two copies of Domain. Um, don't know what we're supposed to do with that. Yeah, and the mill effect is only once per turn, so... We can't do much with that. Uh, we're going to mill... Sentinel? Since we drew play, we can mill Sentinel. And activate play, special summon out the Sentinel back from Grave. Uh, activate Sentinel's effect, destroy itself, get Demigod. Maybe we're cooking? Maybe? Uh, activate Demigod. We already used Play and Domain, so that means the only one we can search is Breath. Um, we're going to use our Breath right now. And then... I guess now we Mothman? See what we can do? Mothman is guarded itself. Uh, each player draws one, drops one. Okay, sure. Let's see what we get. Wow, this... <laughs> <laughs> this deck is so fucking... It's so sacky. Um, he doesn't have anything that triggers, right? I mean, we could do the funny thing and discard his Mothman to trigger his Mothman, but uh, I don't got time for all that. 
Um, so we have double extender in grave. We have per we have Perlerino in hand. We have a search with breath. So we're gonna we're gonna revive Hound and we're gonna revive Sentinel. And this time I'm going to. We haven't even normal summoned yet, have we? We have not. I'm thinking maybe I get Sharon and I normal summon that. But then I'm like, we wouldn't be able to make Toad anyway. Actually, no. I, I, we just grab... Uh, fuck, I shouldn't have summoned these guys. You know what, you know what I should have done? I'm, I'm going to show you guys. This is, this is what I should have done first. I should have Pearl Arena. We add Rhino Heart because we already have Mothman in Grave. We already have Mothman, so that means we're free to make a Bahamut Shark by dropping any tier limit. We're gonna drop Merly here. Merly's like the least important tier. So we're gonna drop Merly, make Mud Dragon using Mothman. Boom, boom. Because this way we don't lose to a nib, right? Uh, we could pop a card on field using Pearl Arena. We're not gonna do that. Which I keep forgetting that's a thing, I'll be honest with you. So now we can Bahama Shark. We're gonna detach Mud Dragon, Special Toad. And now, um, should I have even summoned Bahama Shark in a like? You know, if I would have summoned Bahama Shark right here, there's a chance it could have survived the turn. Because we, we're we're gonna have so many monsters on our field that like. Like, we still have a search with breath, and we haven't even used our normal summon yet. Like, we could potentially search another... Another Hound and go into Redoer. We could potentially search, uh... I don't know. A bunch of other things. Maybe I should cut down Hound's numbers down so that I stop drawing it randomly with, with, with the tier limit stuff. And it's like, the synergy between these decks is kind of there, like... I think, like, there is something that could work here, I just don't know if... We have discovered it yet, you know? Or I, I just don't think that we've discovered what works yet. I think we're, we're kind of just here for the vibes. Oh, we could go for Tainted. Uh, Tribute Sentinel, Normal Summon it. And then... It becomes level 10. Or we could go for Returned. I don't know, man. We're just, like, over here spamming, like, IP into SP Little Knight. That's, that's all we're doing right now. <laughs> uh, that's, like, what most of these duels have been. I guess the question is, would I rather get Tainted or would I rather get Returned? Because these are really the only two that I can get. Um, I could get a Hound, but there's no rank 4 we can, uh, link 4, I said link 4, I said rank 4 first, and then I corrected myself to link 4 for some reason. There's no rank 4 we can make that, like, really makes a difference at this point, because it's, it's only Redoer that we can make, so, and, and that doesn't do anything. So it's either Tainted to set up for, like, a possible next turn kind of thing, like, next turn we could be able to make, like, Gurua and stuff. Or we go for returned to put an extra material on Toad. I think I think I like Tainted better. I like the sound of Tainted. Okay. So I'm normal summon. Um, that makes him level ten. We can go for. This thing that doesn't actually do anything. As a matter of fact, we could have just searched Crystal God. Could have searched Crystal God, Tribute summoned it. But then we wouldn't have had any anything else to make um, SP Little Knight with. Yeah, I definitely goofed. 
we definitely became the goof troop here but i don't know i'm i'm still not sure this is why i'm i'm making this video like do you guys think that there's any synergy between tyrolements and testina do you think there's any any hope here or are we just on the um or are we just on the hopium you guys let me know um for Kalos, I hope you're proud of me for my very first tr element, tr element strongest video on the channel. Um, despite that time where I showed um, Gate Guardians beating the shit out of it <laughs> a few months ago. So, um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This has been your boy Nistro, signing out. Peace.